The things you do for the love of your garden. We're uh, de-weeding the garden in the dark because it's too hot to do it in the day. You like the grass I'm growing? When you neglect your garden for, you know, three days to go camping, it gets tall quick. We took all those weeds out of this area right here. It's hard to tell, but I'll show you guys in the morning. Obviously, we ran out of light. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Betty. Getting a little courageous trying to walk all the way out to the very edge of his cage. Hey there, Mama. Get you some breakfast. Alright, let's check on them babies. Mama, checking out what we're doing here. So that's what you're doing with my babies. I'm just checking on them. You're all right, Mama. Look at those babies. There was one in here that I was slightly concerned about. But it looks like it's still thriving. But let me show you guys a comparison between this one and this one. Look at the difference of these two babies. Let me get some of this fur out of my way here. So, as you can tell, this one is half the size, if not, if not um, a little smaller than that. It seems to be thriving. They seem to be doing okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover them back up and let Mama do her thing. She seems to be doing a pretty good job of being a first-time mama for them. Even with um, losing two of them, she still seems to be doing pretty well. She uh, continues to pull fur, and when it's real hot, I've noticed that she'll pull some of the fur up off of them while they're sleeping. And She seems to be a very good first-time mom which is great for us. That means she's gonna be a good breeder and we won't have to worry about looking for a new breeder. Um, they are still under a week old, so we'll continue to come back and check on them and show you guys um, how they're doing as they get older. So it is not time to do a garden tour yet, but so much has already changed. You guys are going to be like, what? <laughs> we uh, got a little bit of rain this morning, about uh, three quarters of an inch of rain. And I don't know what it is, but right after a rain, something just clicks in the garden and things just like grow massively. So even what I'm seeing right now, 
is probably going to be so much more by the time you guys really get to have a good look at it. It's just so much going on. I've been uh, coming out and de-weeding. <laughs> I'm sure you guys already know that. It's like a non-stop thing. Um, and but every time I come out here, I want to get, I want to bring you guys with me so I can show you all the new beautiful things that are happening. Um, but then I feel like if I do, you guys, there won't be anything for me to show you for the garden tour. Isn't that just like super cool? That's a zinnia before it opens. It just kind of looks like a puzzle. Um, I don't know, it's just really neat. I don't know if you guys remember those little um, ball puzzles that you piece together. This reminds me of that little ball. Picking just a few handfuls of beans here and there. Um, we're not quite in the season where we get just a whole lot and enough to really make a meal of it. There's five of us, so it takes you know quite a bit more than just a tiny handful to make a good size um, side dish for the family. Um, so we've just been kind of eating them fresh until we get a good harvest of them, but they are coming in. Picked a few more. So many things changing in the garden already. I, uh, I want to show you guys so bad, but like I said, if I do, there will be no garden tour. So I will just give you a few tiny little snippets and then you will have to wait for just a few more days. So, right after a rain like this is <clears throat> the best time to come out and de-weed the garden. One, it's nice and cooled off and today is kind of back and forth overcast and possible rain. So it's nice and cooled down. Um, the sun isn't just like blaring down and two, because it moistens up the soil, so whenever you go to pick those weeds, they just pop right out of the ground. Um, roots and all, just super easy. I also like to kind of let the weeds get a little taller, so that way I get a really good grip on them to get the roots and all. Whenever, whenever they're super tiny, they are actually um, a lot harder for me to get a hold of. So that is something you're definitely going to see in the garden is bigger weeds when you do see my weeds, which is like all the time. Rain is making some of these tomato plants just kind of go all over the place. I think it's pretty close to time to be tying these things up. Look at this one's already trying to tie itself up here. But uh, look at all these. That is such a big blossom. Look how funky this tomato looks. I haven't grown one that looks like this before, but uh, it's neat looking, that's for sure. This is a uh, green zebra stripe tomato. I mean, you can kind of tell the coloring of it already. It's got some darker and lighter green coloring to it already. All right, guys, I gotta stop. I gotta get out of here or I'm gonna show you, I guess, everything. I said snippets. Guys, gotta remind me. Come on, Ariel. Little bits, little bits. Control yourself. I am going to redo the tool around my uh, strawberry plant over here because once flowers start to come in, which I haven't seen any since I put the tool on, just because the greenery was completely gone. So it's been really working on pushing out some new leaves and stuff. But um, once flowers start coming in, 
then um, they're not going to get pollinated too well. So I'm going to actually uh, change up the way I'm doing the tool and hopefully that will help. We have seen a lot of those wild rabbits around here. Um, so hopefully we can protect what strawberries we have. And these strawberries are being eaten by the slugs too. So if anybody has a uh, good slug repellent or just any kind of tricks to get the slugs to go away, like some slug be gone, um, let me know because we'd like to eat our own strawberries, you know? Looks like this one's going to the rabbits. These guys absolutely love all of the treats that they get from me. Here, Jack. You want that? He doesn't really much care to eat out of our hands, but I'm sure he'll eat it. Yep, there he goes. Stood on film, but he uh, finished his strawberry and then got all excited and ran around his cage and started doing flips. <laughs> Silly guy. Here is something you guys haven't seen in a while is my greenhouse mess. So we've got some celery left that hasn't been into the ground or sold and also some tomatoes over here. These are just some plants that either got too heated or too watered because of all the rain and things um, and just didn't make it out. Obviously, you know, every, every gardener except for you, maybe those pros kills a plant or two. And then, you know, we've got some that are still kind of petering in and a bit too small to be going into the garden and these pepper plants are just they're starting to finally look a bit better but man I've been having a rough start with these peppers this year they just do not seem to want to fluff up and fill out so and I'm not sure if it's the weather but my guess is all this rain has made it really rough on these peppers left my coffee out in the garden I don't know about you guys, but being a stay-at-home mom and of three kids, I uh, seem to always lose my coffee. I have to refine my coffee like 50 times a day and um, reheat it because it's um, always lost and cold. Like right now. It's cold. So, time to go in and reheat it. Let's see. Let me see. What you got in there? We have food is from my mom's garden. It's lettuce and beans and peas. Lettuce and pe beans. And what's that purpleness? That's beans too. I'm about to start planting some pink ox heart tomatoes and some flowers in my garden. I forgot about one thing. I have to go get mom's rake, little tiny rake, uh, handheld <laughs> before I do anything. So I can really get the dirt loosened up. Um, my favorite thing about gardening is really the planting because you get to like poke all the holes in the dirt and like just like put a whole bunch of seeds and like it really gives you a moment, a memorable remembrance 
or whatever it's called. Um, my least favorite part is when all of the plants die. Because it's like you just had baby rabbits or something and then they just die. Your whole livestock just dies. <laughs> and it's just like... No! You know what I mean? And it's like the saddest part. I've only been gardening for two years, so it's like I don't really know completely how to garden. I, I want to be a photographer when I grow up because like the pictures really mean something to me. It's like the p taking pictures is like remembering something sort of, but like you have something to remember that time. And now I have the shovel. I have to dig holes. I don't think it's going to be really big holes. I have to kind of get more dirt over here from this little guy. So it takes a minute gardening, but like once you get the hang of it, it's like a piece of cake. I've really learned like how to do stuff better, sort of. How I was raking a garden i found something i think it's a grub it looks really disgusting so i'm just gonna pick it up with this shovel <laughs> yeah that's definitely a grub <laughs> got the holes in the ground and now i just have to put the tomatoes in the holes. While I'm putting the tomatoes in the ground, I thought it would be an opportunity for you guys to kind of get to know me. <laughs> Since I'm not normally on the videos very much, I thought it'd be an easier way for us to get to know each other this way. This year, both in school and at home, was really amazing. And I went to a national game without my parents. I went to Devil's Den State Park without my parents. I had a birthday party to go to without my parents. So this year has been like a without my parents year. I don't know if that's a thing, but it is now. One in, two to go. The friend's birthday party was like my best friend. She was the only other girl in the entire grade that had red hair, like me. She was the only other girl. It was like friends at first sight when I saw her, so. On Saturday, the 8th of June, I went to her birthday, and surprisingly, I didn't cry the whole time. It was the last day I got to see her, and next year I won't be going to the same school. Are all the tomatoes done now? And I'm about to start tilling up the ground for the crimson yellow. Champion Mary Golds. Right here. Next to the corn and these little guys. Right here, I just gotta till up the ground and then I just gotta put on the marigold seeds. Here we go. I'm the messiest eater in the house, other than the dogs and the rabbits. And they don't really count their animals. So okay, I finished the marigold. You can't see them though. Wait, yeah, I got the marigolds. And I think I might have put a little too much, but now it's time to move on to the sunflower. I only put one sunflower because sun, it's a mammoth sunflower, so it gets really big. 
I have just the right spot for it. Right in the right next to the corn. It's perfect for a mammoth sunflower. Okay, so I put the sunflower right here. This is our corn this year. It's getting really big. We have some peaches and cream and some glass gym corn. And we really hope we get something out of it this year. That's my sisters jumping up and down on the trampoline. I gotta go put away all the supplies. And then it is truly bye.